Hi, my name is Adrian Johns and I am the author of Shiny Asses, Skippy and Men in Orange. I would just like to read you a quick uh, chapter from the book, Close Encounter with Skippy. When you are used to small rabbits, you are never prepared for having a seven foot steroid raging wild animal, our friend Skippy, crossing your path with a full head of steam. Roos do get very big in the wild and when one clipped the driver's side wing of my red Ford Falcon station wagon, when I started working in the Australian mines, it did cause a lot of damage. When you are on a dark, sharp corner on the road in the middle of nowhere in the early hours, and it is dark and I've seen Skippy's bloodshot eyes close up through the driver's window, the first thing you think, that's not the Skippy from the TV show. That Skippy was a rather scrawny, small, malnourished marsupial. The Skippy that I had just had an interaction with was built like Arnie Schwarzenegger, with muscles upon muscles. I have just clipped him and he has gone crashing into the bush. This animal had the trifecta with roid rage, road rage and psychopathic tendencies if ever I saw one. The last thing you feel very reluctant to do is go chasing after him to check on his welfare. When telling the story on Facebook, the concern that poor Skippy may be hurt and I should have gone to check on him for my friends in the UK was extremely worrying. He's not that Skippy. This Roo would eat that Skippy for breakfast with three of his friends. This Skippy was cannibal. He's not going to be happy if I go find him to give him a head rub and say, sorry mate. More, like, more likely he'll be extremely peeved and kick the holy crap out of me. I'm also not going to be walking through the Australian bush at night in my thongs. Yes, Brits, that's flip flops. With a small torch, call it out, Skippy, are you okay, mate? The Australians will be glad that I used the word thongs. Yeah. We know what uh, thongs is underwear and flip flops are your footwear. Australians like to shorten words and use words that what you see is what you get. For example, boardies are board shorts and sunnies are sunglasses. The word flip flops have never made it down under. It's just too unmasculine for the Australian male. It's thongs, mate. Now getting back to my first contact with Skippy in the wild and Skippy was winning. My poor red Ford Falcon wagon had survived and a replacement driver's side wing and headlight had to be found. This pom wasn't worn into the bush anyway. Hasn't everyone seen the, the movie Wolf Creek? Um, wouldn't uh, Mick Taylor from the movie uh, be able to differentiate between a backpacker, tourist or pom even if I held an Australian passport? It would more likely be like Christmas to him. More so if I was called upon to make a hasty retreat through the bush in a pair of thongs. Further encounters with Skippy were to follow. I was to run over later that in, in that same year, another Skippy in the middle of, the, um, of my lane uh, on the road between Nebel and Glendon in central Queensland. I hadn't killed this Skippy since this one was, was already dead. You may ask, how did I run over a dead kangaroo? Did it jump out at me? No, it didn't. It was dead. I'm just going to say it was lying on a dark bit of road with plenty of shadows and I had just taken my eyes off the road for a second on my drive back to town after a long week of night shifts.